What's up everybody? I'm Dallas from One Chance Travel and today I'm going to show you five ways you can up your creativity. So these concepts can work for just about anything. Uh, video, if you're trying to make a YouTube channel, uh, if you're a graphic designer, if you're a painter, if you just want to redo your room and make it look cooler, if you just want to have a feeling of strength with your creative muscle, these are five ways of doing that. And all of these are things I try to do in my own career as a creative. It's always good to just keep your creative muscle really strong and always be trying different things with it. Don't just come from one approach. So number one is surround yourself with other creative people. Find groups online, find groups in person, find ways to connect with people, even if they're not in the same creative field as you. So they might not be a graphic designer, they might not be a video editor, but the way that their brain works and the way that they approach things could be something that gives you an idea in your own work. So surround yourself with as many creative types as you can in whatever field they work in. Do everything twice. You see, when you only do things once, you think you got it right. But when you do it again, you get the ability to be able to use all the information and all the stuff that you got from the first time, the second time. But seriously, doing things twice can be the way that you break through your normal routine in your creative. Sometimes you just find yourself doing the same things over and over, but when you finish something, go back, do it again, you might go down a whole new road that you've never thought about before. The third way to make yourself more creative is just to loosen up. Don't worry about everything being super perfect, just do it. Just start the video, just start the drawing, just start whatever you're trying to do. Sometimes there's gonna be things interrupt it, sometimes it's gonna be, you're gonna fail, and fail a lot. I try with everything that I do to make sure that I at least fail. That means you tried. It means you actually attempted something that you feel uncomfortable about. If you're always succeeding, you're probably not pushing yourself. So just fail. Just keep drawing, keep painting, keep creating, keep doing whatever it is, whatever field you're in, keep doing those things and keep making bad stuff and eventually it'll get better and better and better and, and then you'll be at a point where it's gonna be harder and harder to fail. That's why we see success with all these people in sports. That's why we see success with actors. You know how many auditions these people go on? It's super easy to think in our brain, oh, if I could just walk in and just get that one part or just get this one design out of my computer or draw this one thing, then everything's gonna be better. But that's not it at all because you gotta back it up day after day after day creatively if you're gonna be a creative professional. So just fail, keep going, and just keep making work. So that brings me to my fourth tip. Walk away from your work. Sometimes you have to take a break. You get so into this feeling of I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna sprint through it and I'm gonna knock it out of the park. And that's just not always how it goes. Sometimes midway through that, you gotta stop and just walk away, look at something else, do something else, talk to someone about a completely different topic. Don't go to your friend and just start talking about the project you've been working on. Go to your friend and talk about what they've been working on. Find out what's going on in their life. Get your brain to turn off for a second so when you come back to it, you sit back down at your desk, you look back at your monitor on your phone or what, wherever you're working, you have a fresh set of eyes with a refreshed brain and a refreshed outlook on what could be done. And that makes it really exciting. It's each time you come back to something, you might have a whole new thought you didn't think in the very beginning and now is, it just all comes together. It's perfect. And for the fifth tip, this is basically my golden tip for you as a creative. Stop relying on Google in every part of your life. We're so wired now to just solve the problem with Google. We think to our in our minds any question and in a second we can find that answer and we're just slowly eroding our ability 
to solve those problems, to reach back into the bank of our brain and say, I know that information. I know how to approach this problem. And that's what creativity is. It's problem solving. How do I make this look good? How do I convey this message to the viewer, whether it be in print, on video, in when someone walks into your home, you want to convey a feeling, right? You want to make them feel at home or you want a, a sense of excitement in certain rooms or a sense of calm in others. And all of these are choices that are being made. Just like when you're a kid and you want to learn to walk, that's just problem solving. Otherwise you would just fall over. We have it built into us to be problem solvers so that, that little toddler doesn't for the rest of their life smash their face on a coffee table. Their mind figures out how to balance themselves. We have to balance our creativity so that we can create the very best way of conveying our creative message to the viewer. So stop relying on Google. Don't Google every single thing in conversation. When you're with your friends and they ask a question, try to think through it. Try to remember back. Try to find a way to get to that answer, whatever it is. But when we just consistently rely on this other bank of information, we slowly weaken our creative muscles. So that is it. Those are five quick tips to how to up your creativity in anything you're doing. Those aren't the only ways by any means and I'd love to hear what yours are. How do you approach creative problems? Write it down in the comments below and I'd, I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more content and let's get creative.